In today's video, I will show you how to set up your own Slack bot using Node.js and JavaScript. This is what the final result will look like. You will be able to type in the keyword quote and hit enter, and the chatbot will reply for a random quote that we generate using a quote API. This is just one of many possibilities that you can do with a Slack bot, but the main purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how to get it set up. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is go to this website, api.slack.com. Once you're on this website, just make a Slack account if you don't have one already and log in. Then you should see this banner says customize your workspace and it has an option to create an app. Just click on a button. You should now see this screen. Just click on create from scratch. Just type in whatever app name you'd like. I'm just going to do tutorial like three for this example and for workspace. Just click any workspace that you have and click on create app. Now we have to configure some settings before our Slack bot will start working. The first thing we can configure is just like the OAuth and permissions. Just click on this tab, then scroll down until you see scopes. And here we're just going to add the scopes for the bot. Click on this button and just type in write and just look for one that says chat colon write, which would give us permissions to send messages as like the Slack bot. Once you click on it, it should automatically save. Then if we scroll back up to the top, the next setting we want to change is like the event subscription. So just click on this tab, then click the enable events button. Before we can fill out this request URL, we will actually need to host the code for the Slack bot on a server somewhere. The easiest way to do this is to go to this website called repoit.com. And I'll make sure to leave a link in the description, but just go to this link. Once you're on this page, just make an account. And once you made an account, you should see a page very similar to this. Just click on this create button here. And for the templates, just look up node.js if you don't see it already and just click it and just click on create repo. Once it's done loading, you can just paste the code here and I'll make sure to leave this code in the description so you can copy it easily. Don't worry if you don't understand everything that's going on. Later in the video, I will go line by line and explain exactly what each line is doing. One other change that we need to do is to add two environment variables that you see here. And we can easily do that by just click on secrets here. And for the first secret, we can just copy this key here and paste it. To get the value, we can just go back to the Slack page and open up basic information here on the left hand side. Scroll down a little bit and you should now see something called client secret and signing secret here. Click show for the signing secret and just copy the value and just go back to the repo and just paste it here and click add new secret. For the second secret, we can just copy the key here and paste it. And for the value, we can just go back to the Slack page and just click on OAuth and permissions again. And then under OAuth tokens for your workspace, just click on install a workspace. When you're on this page, just click allow. And now you should see that a, a bot user OAuth token has now been generated. Just click copy and paste this value inside the box here now and click add new secret. One more change that we need to make is that if we go back to the Slack page and go to the app home tab and we scroll down, go ahead and just check this box here that says allow users to send slash commands and messages from the messages tab. Once you complete this step, the last thing we need to do is go back to the repo and just click run. Once you see this message in the bottom right that says the bot app is running, that means you've done everything successfully so far. Now we just need to copy the URL here and go back to our Slack page and scroll up and just click on event subscriptions. Once your page loads, just click on the button here. And then for the request URL, just paste the URL that we just copied and then do backslash Slack backslash events. And just give it a couple of seconds and then it should now say verified. Then we just need to click on the subscribe to bot events. And then here, click on add bot user event and just search for IM and just search for the one that says message.im and then hit save changes. Now, if we go to Slack and we just click on our Slack bot, which in this case is tutorial three. Now, if I type in quote into the text box, we will now get a random quote back from the Slack bot. Now I'll switch our code to explain how this works. To start from the top, we just load the environment variables using the .env package. And then here we're just importing Axios to make HTTP calls. Then on line four, we're just using the Slack bot package that allows us to easily interact with Slack APIs to build our Slack bot. Then on line five and six, we're just importing the environment variables that we said earlier. And then on line seven, we're just creating the actual Slack app and passing in the sign-in secret as well as the bot token. Then on line 16, we're just telling the Slack bot to listen to messages, specifically if they have the word quote in them. And if they do, then we just make this API call to the quote API to generate a random quote. And then we just tell the Slack bot to say hello, whoever the current user is, and then append a quote to the end of the message. And if you want to see additional information about how this message function works, I will leave a link to the documentation, but this documentation here will explain exactly how this function works. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding how to set up your own Slack bot. If this video was helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.